Hey everybody, welcome back to another Horror Mystery Box Unboxing, and this time we have our Zobi XL Horror. Now this is the Spring XL Horror Box, and I think, uh, honestly, it might be the most expensive one I've seen them do, because I've seen a, a lot of people's, uh, you know, 125 150 This one was actually 175 So, this one was up there. But, we had the chance to get two different kinds. Uh, there was one that had a flat... 11 by 14 there was a pop and not a prop but a item and then there was a chance to get two pops and the 11 by 14 I'm really hoping for the two pops because uh, the item I don't know where I'd put the item if I uh, did get it unless it's small so that's why I'm hoping for two pops because I could just squeeze it in with the rest of my uh, autograph pop collection but I'm very excited to get this so let's see what we got All right, it is a really big box, so let's go ahead and dive in here. I'm seeing a lot of packing paper. And I could already tell you, we only got the one pop. We got a pop, an item, and the 11 by 14. But they still look awesome, so I'm gonna jump in here and see what we got. I'll grab the pop first. It is, now the themes were uh, Leatherface, Nightmare on Elm Street 5, Dream Child, and uh, Candyman. <laughs> Alright, that's actually pretty cool. We got a special edition. I think this is like the UK version of a Hot Topic is when we get the special edition. It's the Leatherface holding a sledgehammer, and it's signed by Brett Wagner. And it says Lost Leatherface 2003. Let me get some of this plastic off. I might be able to see the autograph a little better. It's in one of their uh, custom blood splattered uh, pop protectors, which is cool. But Brett Wagner played Leatherface for the first kill of uh, the 2003 remake of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, the reason they call him the Lost Leatherface is because he just did the one kill because he actually got heat stroke during filming, and they had to, he had to be replaced. But this is actually very cool because it is the sledgehammer wielding Leatherface. That's really awesome. Alright, we'll go ahead and do the item. It's already up here. Now they took pictures and I had a feeling in my heart that this is the item they were going to put in. But I was kind of hoping they would put it in for the uh, the jersey uh, mystery thing they did. But it is something that we got here. So, uh, I have no idea where I want to put it. Uh, if somebody got the two pops and got a pop version of this or whatever talk to me and we'll see if we can work out a trade because I have no idea what I want to do with this but it is a Michael Bailey Smith Super Freddy jersey autograph right there and I will open it up so you guys can see all of it in its glory I guess the best way to frame it would be if how you would frame an actual jersey is get the big frame but here's the back Kruger and this is Nightmare on 5 Michael Bailey Smith Super Freddy, or and then we got the front, which is cool. This is actually a really cool jersey. If it was an autograph, I'd probably wear it. That's what we got here. So, I'm, see, I don't know if maybe you know it was a Freddy pop that was signed that's taking place of the item. But let's flip this 11 by 14 around and see what our last autograph is. And I, it's got to be something from Candyman, so it might be the um, the guy that played the Candyman that's in the wall with the actual prosthetic hand. And they might have been that, might have been the pop. Let's see. That is awesome because I don't have one of these. I know uh, I've been collecting for a while and still haven't ran across one because I've been waiting on to actually meet him because he does a lot of conventions. But it is Tony Todd. That is pretty damn awesome. Right there. This is an awesome art piece, too. It's Candyman. There's your Tony Todd. That is awesome. That is a That will be kept no matter what. That's awesome. But, all in all, that is a very cool XL Horror Box. We got our Funko. We got a jersey. And we have a very, very awesome 11 by 14 And I actually got it a day early, which makes me super excited. I was just glad to get it. Because it was supposed to be delivered 
Saturday, but they got today. Uh, I'm just very happy with it. I was just glad that I everything lined up that I could actually get the XL box this time because I've had to miss out a few times. But Zobie's absolutely awesome. They do, uh, especially this, they do regular monthly horror box, anime box. I think they do a pop culture is what it's called. They do daily specials constantly. If you're going to go check them out, go to shopzobie.com and then Zobie Productions on their social medias, Facebook, Instagram. But if you like their thing, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and please hit the bell for any kind of notifications when we do videos like this. And really hope to see you guys next time.